for the first part angle of incidence will be equal to 45 degrees and r2 will be equal to the critical angle and using this equation we can say that r1 will be equal to this term now Using Snell's law for this interface, we have this equation. Using the value of R1 from this equation, we get the value of mu. Note that, since the emergence is at grazing angle, so we could also use this equation directly. Now, for minimum deviation, R1 and R2 will be equal to A by 2. Using Snell's law for this interface, we have this equation. Now, for the second part, we are given the angle of incidence and the condition that the angle of prism, angle of deviation and angle of emergence are all equal. Using this equation, we get the angle of deviation to be equal to angle of incidence. This means that all these angles are equal to 60 degrees. Also, since angle of incidence is equal to the angle of emergence, this means that we have a situation of the minimum angle of deviation. Now, using this equation, we get the refractive index of prism.